Today's training camp report starts with some unfortunate news, uh, injury news that is. Joey Blunt, free safety, had to be wheeled off the field after uh, he injured his leg during team drills, offense against defense. Quite unfortunate because after the, uh, you know, the play, he sat on the turf for probably a minute or so. The team continued to practice, but Blunt stayed on the field. And even John Schneider, who was always here, but was around, came over, kind of patted him on the back, you know, just say, hang in there, young man. And then uh, Blunt got on the cart and then was, you know, or was driven off the field. So I, I don't have an update. And we won't have an update until the team, you know, until he gets seen by medicals and then the team gives some kind of release. Another unfortunate uh, turn of events injury-wise is Devin Witherspoon. Um, yeah, rookie quarterback. He had a wrap around his left leg i'm calling it his hamstring because uh he, he had the wrap those ice wraps you see around the leg and then the bubble in the back looked like ice so the, which that's where the hamstring is but i'll go you know i'm not going out on a limb but i think it was a uh the left hamstring there and if you remember uh was where the spoon did not take part in the uh, combine drills because of he was nursing his hamstring. So there you have it again. The, the hamstring pops up for with a spoon and we just have to wait and see. But, you know, with only, you know, a few weeks left here, you can't rush the hamstring. So uh, ominous sign, we just, again, we just have to wait and see and hear from what the team says in terms of you know, how long will he be out? Is it a day-to-day -day thing? Uh, were they just precautionary? We just don't know. And lastly, Tyler Lockett as reported yesterday. So just to clear up what's going on with Tyler Lockett. Tyler Lockett participates in some of the warm-up drills. And today it was the one where, you know, the left leg over the, the right leg. So he participated on that. He did not take part in the dummy drills where, you know, well, they'll take the ball and then they'll run over the dummies over there. And nor did he participate in any seven on seven or 11 on seven drills. So uh, that's, that's really the up the update on Tyler Lockett. He's doing some stretching, but he's not participating in team drills or team scrimmages, if you will. And then lastly, off the field, uh, the Seahawks signed nose tackle Roderick Perry. So with that, let's go to the
But at the same time, I've been taking it patient. And I know when the time comes, it'll be time for me to be out there. But so far, I've been taking all the mental risks I can. And uh, shoot, just doing whatever the coaching staff and the training staff have been telling me to do. So that way, you can follow a plan so I can come back healthy and come back at the right time. He talked about you know the value of getting some work in the walkthroughs. What do you get out of that, even if you're maybe not full speed out here yet, that you can take part of that now? Uh, so honestly, today I went through walkthroughs and it felt good just uh, because I felt like when you out there, you actually get real reps, you know, and just being out there to being on the right side and then getting the call and then seeing what the offense line up in and then making your adjustments throughout that call and the different tools we use with those calls. You know, it felt good to be out there because you really can't get that whenever you working out by yourself or working out with the strength conditioning style because it's just mostly running and the route tree. I feel like this year to be more mental for me just because uh, one, I was banged up and while I was banged up, I got to learn you know new things mentally and uh, also just getting more into the playbook. And I feel like the more I got into the playbook, the slower the game gets to me. How did you hurt you? Three. Would you rather fight one horse-sized duck or 50 duck-sized horses? Uh, one horse size duck. Really? <laughs> <laughs> That's the wrong answer. Get big beat. Oh, look at that smile. Oh, yeah. But chill out, man. Chill out. <laughs> how, did you, how did you hurt your knee in the first place? Uh, Sue so was doing OTAs and I was walking back out to a wow! play. And I had uh, a. Oh, snap. No, no. My bad. Uh, I have a special guest with me. I was walking yeah, back out to a play and then. Uh, uh, I didn't feel like a pop in my knee and I looked down at my knee and I seen something, something sticking out to the side and it was just a piece of my meniscus sticking out to the side. I feel like this year to be more mental for me just because uh, one, I was banged up and while I was banged up, I got to learn you know new things mentally and uh, also just getting more into the playbook. And I feel like the more I got into the playbook, the slower the game gets to me. How did you hurt you? Three. Would you rather fight one horse-sized duck 50 duck size horse or Uh, one horse size duck. Really? <laughs> <laughs> That's the wrong answer. Get big beat. Oh, look at that smile. Oh, yeah. But chill out, man. Chill out. <laughs> <laughs> how, did you, how did you hurt your knee in the first place? Uh, she was just doing OTAs and I was walking back out to a wow! play. And I had a. Uh, you had to do it yourself! Oh, snap. No, no. My bad. No. I have a special guest with me. I was walking back out to a play, and then 
Uh, I didn't feel like a pop in my knee and I looked down at my knee and I seen some, something sticking out to the side and it was just a piece of my meniscus sticking out to the side. A piece of my meniscus is sticking out to the side and then I bent my knee a little bit, piped it back in, tried to do another play and then after that play uh, I fell back to the ground and uh, it was poking out again. My leg it went through like a pocket on the side of my knee so I had to get two stitches to the pocket that it went out of and then they just took a little bit of my meniscus out. Oh, it was good, you know. Uh, I'm still working back to normal, but I feel amazing, you know, uh, I feel like myself again, and I've been working on getting my legs stronger. So, you, so you were sticking out, and you just decided to be a self-doctor and pop it back in? Uh, a little bit, I was just trying to bend my knee a little bit, and it was like a weird feeling, but at the same time, I mean, hey, I don't know, maybe it was just a, a sign from God that, you know, I got to slow down a little bit and just get more into the playbook. Keep in mind, one of the things that we're watching is how that battle plays out at court. Do you see that as a battle there? Or are you watching what you guys? Um, keep it, y'all. Sorry, honestly, you know, just being out there watching them, it's pretty cool because I get to learn things from them. You know, you most of the time when guys look at film or something, or uh, I know I look at myself sometimes just to see what I gotta work on, but. It's a difference when you get to see the other cornerbacks and other DBs going out there and practice and see what they do. And then, like, the mistakes or uh, the right things they did, just learn something from those, and now I can apply it to my game, too. You know, at the nickel, especially in the NFL, a lot of teams want to run the ball to the nickel. So uh, he been approaching it like uh, a linebacker, actually. You know what I'm saying? He just go in there, stick his nose in there, and get dirty, and he make plays, and he like to hit. Playing your game, you know? I just allowed to play my game and I make plays and uh, I'm pretty sure my teammates appreciate me making those plays, but um, honestly, just playing my game, really, I don't, I don't know what it, what it really takes to be the best corner. I just keep doing myself and I, honestly, I keep doing myself. I can never be wrong and uh, it's been showing, you know, and it paid off last year and I'm pretty sure if I just keep working, it'll pay off this year too. Yeah, I mean, first minor injury we've had in a while, I guess, hey? Uh, <laughs> No, it was good. I, you know, obviously bombed to not be able to finish out the year last year, but uh, it was a good opportunity for Colby to step up and get some playing time and uh, know how to do his thing. And um, you know, they picked up the flag and ran with it, and I was happy to see that. And uh, happy to be back, feeling good, feeling strong, feeling fast, and uh, make plays again. It's awesome. What have you already seen the difference in Gino last year to this year? <clears throat> Uh, there's just a steadiness, and I don't think that's anything different, but uh, it's definitely just it's nice and noticeable to have that guy just day in and day out coming to work and, um, you know, focus on what he wants to accomplish. What do you tell your, your teammates about making the most of, like, a preseason game on Thursday? Yeah, sure enough. I think, uh, you know, I try and do it out here every time. You know, you're trying to make this team, you know, trying to make this team better, trying to make yourself better. And uh, when you go out into a preseason game, you know, you're not just competing – um, to make this team, but you're trying to compete to make any team. So uh, if you're a young guy, you get an opportunity to go out there and make plays, take the most of it, and uh, just remember that you put that NFL uniform on today and be proud of yourself. Incredible. Uh, just a true warrior. Um, he never gave up, never doubted. Um, you know, obviously, there were some, some days where he needed help getting through it, but we all need help sometimes. And uh, you know, he just never wavered, man. He was always asking the right questions. You know, what can I do to get back? What, what do I got to do? You know, how hard do I got to work? And he wasn't afraid of the answers. And um, look where God, you know, he's back wearing a Seahawks uniform and I couldn't be happy. I'd be getting after it and uh, I think that's a good thing. I think that's what uh, Pete wants this program to be about. It's all about competition, right? So uh, let's not be afraid of it, you know, wherever it presents itself. Uh, you know, last year they were kind of letting the game come to him and I, and I kind of was okay with that. Like, you know, just be in the right spot at the right time and let the game come to you. And now that they know what's going on, they can play that much faster, that much more physical and uh, it's really going to translate. So Shane asks a lot of the tight ends, how much is on your plate? Um, you know, I mean, not to get into specifics, but we're asked to do pass pro, we're asked to do run game, we're asked to, you know, run routes and, uh, you know, help get guys in line, whatever. I, I like to think of myself as a secondary quarterback. Like, whatever the pass protection is, I know what's going on. Whatever the run game is going on, I know what's going on. Whatever the pass concept is. So I'm trying to be out there and help fix him. You know, if there's a problem, I see it, I'm going to try and help. So, um, and we got all the smart guys. You know, Colby obviously went to a Pac-12 Stanford. What are they going to do? I don't know. But, uh, <laughs> uh, and then Noah's right there with a better in mind, and we can all go out there and just you know, help other guys get in line and play. Football. All right, so there you go. You heard the B-roll, and you heard from Rick Woolen. Uh, he's no, more, no longer to Reek. He's uh, Rick Woolen is what he's calling himself. And also you heard from um, Will Disley just kind of talking in terms of, you know, uh, they're having a lot of fun at training camp and, you know, 
just just the team getting ready here preseason game coming up again on thursday so in terms of uh, practice notes that you know the silver stars cody thompson had an exceptional day catching passes in the seven on seven and 11 on seven team drills and with no ken walker and no ken mcintosh zach charbonnet you know is 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 taking making the most of his opportunities while those two are sitting and so is as i said dj dallas and both of them you know i mean the coaches they're showing them you know if if need be i'm here and also i'm ready to challenge for more reps and uh, thursday is going to be a really important interesting day to see who gets the reps in the backfield and also you know it's center um and other than that you know there were a couple skirmishes and the players are just tired of playing each other and they can't wait till thursday and one more note yeah y'all i read some of your comments the long snapper crystal has been perfect in terms of his snaps back in punt formation and also in terms of field goal attempts so uh you know the the thing about let me tell you the thing about special teams in training camp and whatnot no news is good news you know, and so far it's been all systems go in terms of Cristo being the long snapper, getting the ball back there and Michael Dixon making his kicks and also Jason Myers, you know, booting him through the practice upright. So there you have it from the VMAC in Brenton. I'm Osvita Mara Ire.